Okay, I'm back with another Let's Build episode. So today we're going to start with the programming for the lock. So firstly we need to place down the rednet control block. I should probably place it right down here. And a rule of thumb, when you place down things like this, you should at least have three blocks in between. It was what I used in Red Power when I built with Red Power at least. So you can have things going out like this from two blocks and they don't connect. You don't want to realize when you build a lot of things and it's too small. So you need to move like a hundred blocks. With Rednet you probably won't, but with Red Power it happened to me sometime. And I will need... I usually fill it up with the, so it's the largest size, so it has can have 36 circuits. Which is logic thingies. And yes, I call them thingies. So we'll need to firstly choose a password. Let's say white, yellow, magenta, pink. And I will put it up here. White, yellow, Magenta Pink So one four or five three seven is the password. It's a four digit password. If I make it longer it will be more or less the same thing, but it will just be a lot more to build and I think I could even make three things only so one um, four or five I think it's, let's see that's five three one five three it's a pretty simple password to remember I think and if you have done a password that's three long you can make a password that's four, five, six, seven, and so on. It's just a lot more you will need to make. So firstly, okay, the first thing we'll need are some memories. So errors latches, it's what I'm going to use. And hopefully I remember what all of the different things on them mean. So we'll need, we can use error as a reset I think. So up, white, because white was one of the combination things we should need. Then we should have up, magenta, because magenta, we can have them in order, so yellow. And then up, magenta. So it's just that what and that. And these are gates that will remember what we saw. I can build one in regular redstone so you can understand what it is if you don't already. Let's hope if I remember how to build one of these. I think it's like this. So when I put a signal here, it will flip here, and if I have a signal here, it will flip over to that other side. This is an RS latch, or what it was called. So I have three of those in this block right now, 
and I want to have variable outputs here and I shouldn't have that I let's do reset variable one variable one and variable one or variable zero I mean and we should all have outputs non output here and this output should be variable one this should be variable two and this should be variable three and then we just need an any gate one two three and an output let's say white white and let's do this to check is the, if this works or not so like that and we can have a piston so now when I press this and it's a real simple automation lock because it doesn't matter which order you press buttons in and now the piston stand up and I think it's better to start with a simple build in this case than something more advanced but this piston will never get down so what we'll need is a reset to reset the system let's see here where is cat? It's variable zero, zero, and that. Let's do it. We can we could probably do a variable four on this and have that linked to a what is it called? Firstly it should be linked to a pass through not in free or git a pass through so variable four therefore to write white white way and we can have it go to a delay of some sort delay let's take a pulse former um, a, del a delay should work so that's the input and the input should be variable 5 and the delay should be in this one it's a time delay and let's say And if you middle click with, if you click the scroll wheel, it will increase the amount here with 16. It's a very good thing to know. And this is 50 ticks. It's two and a half second. And we should have an output to a variable that resets these. So variable zero. Zero like this. And now it's full because it's an empty one. Let's see if this works. That, that, and that. So now the piston is standing up. Let's see if it get down. And it seems to not to do it. Let's see here why. This is a delay to variable zero. Oh, it's about. I have no variable for so no it works. Well, let's try that again. And there it go down. So I could use this as the locking mechanism right now. I think. 
let's put that to the output to the back side. Back white. And I would need a what is it called? It's called an inverter. Because as you see it's always open now. But we want it always closed. So let's put in some cobblestone or sandstone. Same kind of as before. Some sandstone. And to show that this works in any order, I do it like that. Now you see the piston has extended for a short period of time. And you want your lock to work the opposite way. So what you need is an inverter. It's if you're going to do it with regular redstone, it's just like this. When I flip the lever, the signal gets inverted. It just turns it to the opposite. And I will need to make this bigger. Oh, let's see here. No, I won't. won't. I can change this pass through to an inverter. Just like this. And now it will work. Now you see, it's shut. And if I press like this, I can walk through. And it will close soon after me. Now we have a very basic lock with no fancy features or anything. So we'll see how long I have it recorded. So see you soon. Okay, I have recorded for what is it? 12 minutes or something. And we have just created a lock that works pretty well. It's not perfect because yeah, you can press them in which order you want and so on. But we might fix that in another episode. But this works now. So like the video if you like it. If you have any questions or need help with anything on how to do this, leave a comment. And if you just want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.